welcome. Today I wanted to make some resin coasters. I already pre-mixed some Art Resin Resin and I mixed in some of this Pearl X Micro Pearl Pigment Powder. I heated up my resin for about five minutes to help release the air bubbles. And now I am pouring a small layer in each cavity. I am pouring just enough so it fills the bottom of the cavity because we're going to decorate these coasters in the next step. I am still seeing some air bubbles, so I'm using my heat gun to blast each cavity with some hot air. When I'm finished, I'll cover this mold with one of my food tents and let it cure for at least 24 hours. I'm using a washi tape pack I found on Amazon.com and I wanted to use the dark blue with gold floral print. I thought it would be pretty. I'm going to pour a strip out and lay it on the resin coaster and then I'm going to take my utility knife to carefully cut it off. Be careful, don't touch the mold, you'll tear the mold. And then I'm going to take my knife and just kind of cut in a unique squiggly line. I have no real plan, I'm just cutting and then peel one section off and then see how pretty that line is. I'm going to do this to each of the resin coasters until I think the designs look good. my design laid out, I'm going to use some of the PBO Dimensional Relief Paint to outline the edges of my washi tape. I did find this part to be a little challenging for me. I thought it would be simple. I have a slight shake in my hand and you can see where the line gets a little squiggly and a little out of alignment, which I think is fine because I do like my art to have little unique characteristics to it. I also decided I wanted to add some more detail lines on the solid colors of the resin coaster. I will be painting inside these lines in the next step. Again, I have no real plan as to how I'm laying these out. I am just laying the lines as I go to see what looks good with me and I'm trying to envision the final project as I go also. This next step was super fun for me. I mixed some glitter with some gloss varnish and I painted inside of the detail lines. I'm using some inexpensive paintbrushes I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going slow filling in the areas that I thought would look good. One thing I did learn is I needed to mix more glitter with the gloss varnish because I had to add a second coat after I finished painting all of these coasters.
added my second layer of the glitter and the gloss varnish. I waited at least 24 hours to let it set. Gloss varnish is watered base and I didn't want it to interfere with this next resin coat that I'm adding. I mixed up some clear resin. I let it sit for a few minutes to help release the air bubbles. And now I am pouring a thick final layer on each coaster. I am filling the mold up until it, it reaches the top. Once all of these cavities are full, I'm going to add some heat to release any air bubbles and then I will cover with a food tent. I have waited 24 hours and I am super excited to see how these turned out. So far, they look amazing and beautiful. I am loving the dimensional look of these coasters, but they do show all of the details. I had some air bubbles that got trapped in the gloss varnish, but that's okay. These are unique pieces of art and the dimensional effect is stunning. For a little bit of added detail, I have this copper leafing marker that I am going to go and highlight the edges of each coaster. This marker is super easy to use and it gives a nice metallic finish to the edges and helps bring in the design by darkening the edges. I have noticed in past projects that when working with this type of marker, I need to do one coat and then if needed, go back and add a second coat. I will finish up the rest of these coasters and then let's go see the results. Here is the finished coaster. What do you think? I simply love this technique. I love the results and I think they turned out beautiful. Let me know what you think about this project and I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.